大家好，欢迎收听唱歌学中文。Hi everyone, welcome to Sing and Learn Chinese. Let's talk about the song 写一封信 which literally means write a letter. So that's that's why the English is write a letter. All right, first line. 我写一封信寄给你 So 我 means I 写 is to write. 一封信 is a letter. 寄 is to mail. 给你 to you. So I wrote a letter and mailed it to you, or I write a letter and mail it to you. You know, tenses can be a little bit sketchy in Chinese at times. You need more context to figure out whether they're talking about the past or the present. So notice that when you're talking about a letter, you don't just say one letter the way that you do in in English. E, xing. <laughs> that sounds weird.、Um, it's e feng xing. Because the feng is a counter word. When you're talking about letters, you use the counter word feng. When you're talking about animals, you use the counter word zhi, like 一只猫 a cat, 一只狗 a dog. When you're talking about horses, for some reason, horses do not work with the same counter word as dogs and cats. That would be 一匹马 and so on and so forth. But that might be more than you wanted to know.、Um, 我写一封信 so I wrote a letter 寄给你 and mailed it to you. And Next, oh, another thing, pronunciation. Notice that the word for one is e, which is pretty obvious because it's only one horizontal line, and it's usually first tone e, e shen, first tone. But in this case, it's e feng xing. It becomes a fourth tone next to the word feng, which is also a first tone. The number one changes tones a lot. Like. I feel like it's usually not even in the first tone, except for when you're counting. When you're counting, ear, sense, it will be bad, etc. Then it is in the first tone. But when it's used to talk about other things, it's almost always in a different tone. So in this case, it would be 一封信 fourth tone, first tone, and then fourth tone again. 一封信 Okay. Next line. 没什么重要的原因没 means no. 什么 means something. So no something means nothing, right? No thing, nothing. 没什么，重要 means important. 重 is like heavy. I think if I remember that correctly. It's been a while. Okay, 没什么重要的原因，原因 is reason. So there is no particular important reason. So I just wrote you a letter because felt like it. Then 我只想给呃，我只想给你写。封信 So here we kind of got rid of that e. You can just say 写封信写一封信 Just imagine that the e is there. So 我只想 I just wanted or I just want 给你 for you give you 写 write 封信一封信 basically a letter. So it's I just wanted to write you a letter. Just felt like it. You know, sometimes you just have to write people letters. It's you don't need a reason. People rarely get snail mail nowadays, so might as well, right? Then, oh,、uh, another thing about pronunciation before we move on, um, 只 is usually third tone. 想 is third tone. 我 is also third tone. So we've got three third tone words in a row, which means something has to change. So 我只想只 becomes second tone because we never have two or three third tone words all in a row without changing something. So in this case, the word 只 becomes 只我只想给你 And then same thing over here. Literally, it's like third, 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 third. We've got five third tone characters in a row. So 只 has to turn into a second tone. 给 has to turn into a second tone as well. 我只想给你 three two three two three. Okay. Now let's move on to the next line. 因为很少人愿意花力气写一封信。因为 because 很少 means very few. 很 means very 少 means few. 人 is people or person, so 很少人 very few people. 愿意 means willing to. 花 means in this case it's the verb to spend. Fun fact: it also means flower when it's a noun. But in this case, we're not looking at the flower meaning of this word. We're looking at the verb to spend. 力气 means energy or strength. 写 is to write. 一封信 is a letter. So oh, that's missing some words here.、It、should be write a letter. Alright, because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing to write a letter. Because very few people are willing For so for you, I'm willing, willing to do what? Write a letter, of course. 
拿起钢笔 ，so pick up to to take. 钢笔 is a pen. So B basically means like writing utensil, and then 钢笔 is a pen, specifically a pen. If you're talking about a pencil, it would be a 铅笔 If you're talking about a calligraphy brush, it'd be a 毛笔 and so on and so forth. But anything that has that B character means it's a writing utensil. So、uh, the last line was for you. I am willing to, and then this line answers that, which is 拿起钢笔 pick up a pen, 写封信 write a letter. So. You have heard 写一封信写封信 repeated multiple times now. Hopefully that sticks in the memory. 给你惊喜给你 means give you, and then 惊喜 is a surprise because as we talked about, not many people write snail mail letters nowadays. So if you were to write your friend a letter, that would probably be a surprise, I would imagine. And that is it for the write a letter song. And hopefully now you remember how to say write a letter in Chinese. Among other things, until we sing again, 再见。